which has the best camera, the Galaxy S9 Plus or the iPhone X? I've had both of these phones in my pocket for the last couple of weeks, and I've taken them around Barcelona and my local town, and so hopefully during the course of this video, we can find out which has the best camera. So let's start with a low light shot. It's 5.30 in the morning in Barcelona, and initial impressions are, well, they both take incredible low light photos. Honestly, it's kind of hard to choose. So if we crop in by 300%, it's still kind of hard to tell much difference. Although if you look at the street lamp at the top left, it is a bit clearer on the S9 Plus. It's a little fuzzy. You can't really make out the outline of the lamp itself on the iPhone's picture. But let's move on, and you may have seen some of this footage from my 48 hours with the Galaxy S9 Plus video. Not to worry, I've got lots of fresh stuff for you, but I also wanted to show you how it compared to the iPhone X's footage. The first thing that strikes me is the difference in color. Just look at the yellow on the balloon. It's a lot darker on the S9 Plus. Cropping in by 300%, you can see the difference in sharpness between the images. The iPhone X on the left, if you look at the balloonflights.com text, it appears a lot sharper, almost over sharpened, versus the more natural looking S9 Plus. Now it's just time for a quick selfie before I go up in the balloon, and here there is really quite a striking difference between the images. I'm not really sure which one I prefer. The one on the right, the S9 Plus, I think looks a little more aesthetically pleasing, it's smoothed out my face a bit more, it's perhaps not quite as realistic, but at the same time the iPhone X looks like someone's just going to Photoshop and drag the clarity or the sharpness up a bit too much. Both phones take really good looking and stable 4K video, but if we zoom in on both using the 2 times optical zoom lens, you can see the iPhone does appear a lot more stable than the S9 Plus, which is shaking around quite a lot more, even though they both have dual OIS. And again with the telephoto lens, I think the iPhone's color reproduction is quite a lot more natural here. Going back to photos, this one is really tricky to tell apart. The only thing that really stands out for me is the landscape in the background. It looks a little bit better exposed on the S9 Plus on the right. This picture really shows off the difference in color. Not only is the sky a completely different shade of blue, but if you look at the trees and the dirt on the lower middle of the picture, you can see the S9 has a slightly redder orangey tint to the dirt, whereas the iPhone X looks more naturally brown. Another selfie from inside the balloon, and we're seeing a similar difference in sharpness and smoothness as we did with the first selfie. But one thing I really do like about the selfie camera on the S9 Plus is its much wider field of view versus the iPhone X, so you can get a lot more in the scene. But now I want to see the difference in video quality. Both of these are shot at 4K30, and it's impressive just how stable they are. They both use optical image stabilization at 4K30. Although the S9 Plus seems to deal with my footsteps in terms of stabilizing the footage a bit better than the iPhone that looks a little shakier. Turning around to the group of guys I'm with, if we zoom in three times, there's a big difference in the video quality. The iPhone X looks a bit more natural. The S9 Plus does have more detail, but like the iPhone's photos, it does look a little over sharpened. Jumping forward 12 hours to this uh, night scene in Barcelona, they both handle low light video pretty well actually. It's kind of hard to tell them apart. Although if we zoom in and then you look at the sky at the top, you can see a lot more of that crackling noise on the iPhone X's footage versus the S9 Plus. Now through the miracle of editing and seemingly no structure to this video at all, we are now transported a week later to my hometown of Glastonbury here in the UK. Spring is finally here, the daffodils are out. They both produce shots with incredible detail. Although I think I prefer the slightly more vibrant and colorful look of the S9 Plus. It, but it looks like the theme of this video is all about color. Look at the orangey red baskets on the S9 versus the, in my opinion, natural brown of the iPhone X. A closer look at the rocks, or is it minerals? I don't know. But you can see the S9 Plus is noticeably brighter. It looks like someone's just dropped the shadows a little bit on the iPhone X. It's a little bit darker, a bit grittier, which might look good for your Instagram. Zooming in by 300%, the text on both photos is clearly legible, although the sharper iPhone picture makes the text look just a bit bolder. Was that a terrible rock pun? I'll let you decide. If you're not sick of looking at my face yet, then, well, you haven't watched enough of my videos. But one more quick selfie and the story continues. Although here in good light, I do much prefer the iPhone X's photo. There's clearly more detail, 
Although I do prefer the wider angle of the S9 selfie camera, I think the iPhone 10 comes out on top. Next up, we've got my little nephew Ollie, who is incredibly cute. Both photos look great, but the biggest difference here is actually the window at the back, which is completely blown out on the iPhone 10, whereas you can actually see through the window and see clouds on the S9 Plus. It clearly handles the dynamic range much better. So when you've got a combination of bright and dark areas, the S9 Plus seems to do a little bit better. Let's do a couple of more low light shots before we get to the end. And I think you can tell the difference between the brighter f1.5 aperture on the S9 Plus and the f1.8 on the iPhone 10. The whole picture is brighter, there's a bit more detail on the S9 Plus. If you look at the back of the desk, you can even make out the RGB strip I've got, whereas all that colour just blends into one at the back of the desk on the iPhone's photos. And this next photo seems to back that up. Look at the difference in the definition, the detail. And it really shows off that when the S9 does switch to its wider f1.5 aperture for low light, you do get a lot sharper and clearer pictures as a result. So overall, which has the best camera? Well, it's incredibly hard to choose between them. They're both really, really good. So based on this purely subjective look at a bunch of my photos and videos, I'm gonna go with the S9 Plus as being just a bit better than the iPhone 10. It seems to handle dynamic range a bit better. Photos are brighter in low light thanks to that wider aperture. Although when it comes to colors, the iPhone 10 is definitely more natural versus a slightly more vibrant and possibly therefore more pleasing S9 Plus, but a definite tint to that red and orange hue. But I'd love to hear what you think. Do you agree or not? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching guys. Do hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat.